Well, 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 hello my friends and welcome to the episode with your host, the one, the only, the chosen one, the A1 of the world that turned, and today we are playing a game that I wanted to get my hands on in a very long time. I am talking about Ghostbusters, the video game, released back in 2000. 6 or 2007 Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or your family actually seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up the phone and call the professionals. Call the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. We're, We're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. Franchises available soon. Call for details. Whoa! Russell! Hey, man. You near the East Wing? Yep. But by the new ghost show exhibit? Yeah, why? There's something headed your way. Wait. I hear something. I'm gonna take a look. Wanna hear something really creepy? I was reading about Shandor, you know, the guy who donated most of the Gozer stuff. He was into the occult. You know, supernatural. Weird dude. <laughs> Uh, well, why don't we talk about it some other time? Any other time. Hey, you can't be in here. Stop! Yes, thank you, thank you, Sony, thank you, Dan Rackley, thank you, Harold Primus. Is your haunting an apparition, poltergeist, phantasm wraith, banshee demon specter, tortured solar? What? No, we do not summon dead family members and catch them so you can ask the combination to the safe. Yeah, well, same to you, pal. Hey, it's the new cadet! Welcome aboard! This might be a little dangerous. Great. Danger is our life. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're gonna burn any tissue, do it to the new kid. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case... <laughs> you remember what happened to the last guy. He's tuned and ready to go. You may feel a little tingle. Good. We've perfected an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. <laughs> Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial, a significant collected and centralized necromantic convulsion level seven or more. Agreed, we need EMF measurement checks now. I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask anyway, is a level seven uh, whatever bad or very bad? On a scale of one to 10, I would say, let me guess, it's a seven. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. And that is not the fun kind of getting busy, is it, Rick? Look out! Slimer's escaped again! No, wait, come back. Okay, where the, where the shots at? <clears throat> Yes, I can't believe it. I'm inside the Ghostbusters headquarters. Be gone, peasant. Hello, Ghostbusters. Just 
one moment. Let me get a pin. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the I'll containment grid. Occur. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the I unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. And Use the proton stream to get his attention. Thank you so much for calling. Oh, That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Yeah. Oops, you let one out? That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. Hey, this will work out great, since you're already strapped into a pack. It's a perfect opportunity for some training. Taking the right precautions, Slimer's harmless. Uh, more or less. Not sure about the other guy, though. Okay, let's go get him. Oh, and uh, don't sweat the containment unit. It's easy to get excited your first time out with the proton stream. Egon will fix it in no time. Now, first and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton pack. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to bend the pack and keep it from flooding out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, cap them, and trap them. The first step is blasting a ghost to sap its energy. Do it again! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost's PKE. The more you disperse, the weaker it becomes. Slimer was disgusting. Spirit Guide Tobin, Sloth Ghost. Grass V full round my card do now. Nice to see the history of every ghost. Good and winded. Next stage, cap them. You can project the capture stream or wrangler manually using this control. On the other hand, the pack will detect when a ghost is sufficiently weakened and auto select the capture stream setting. Get in there and throw a capture stream on that tub of goo. Fantastic, you got it. As soon as your ghost is in your capture stream, the slam meter begins to slowly charge. If you want to accelerate the slam meter charge, you can wrangle or tap a wrangle the ghost at the end of the line. Here's how you do that. Watch the ghost. When you make the dash in one direction, you pull the string from the other. Give it a shot! Good work! Now dig in hard and hold on to it. A couple of good slams will take the fight out of just about any end. Slam it! Slam it! You play rough, kid. I love it. Now we can move to stage three. Trap him. We're gonna need some place to put that. There you go! Perfect! See the beacon signal? Just by like charging up the slam meter, but faster. Get in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. And there! Oh yes! One escapee accounted for. Oh, and always remember to retrieve your trap. Did you get them? Ah, uh, we're batting 500. Slimer slipped out. Our cadet bagged his first one, though. A very nasty customer. Oh, and you've got to be very careful about crossing the streams. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. Things like the Dickens, too. Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. 
Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. Nice. <laughs> Scooter. We need to go. Let's roll. Thank you, Bill Murray. Thank you, Harold Ramis, Dan Aykroyd, and Ernie Hobson for allowing us to have this last ride with you, especially to the late Harold Ramis. Rest in peace. <clears throat> Janine, you look spectacular, girl. Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. That's the first place that little spud will go. Right. Back to its initial manifestation point. They've got a real good buffet. It is a great one. When Winston returns from the opera, extend an invitation to join us at our table at the Sedgwick. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That's our job. Disgusting green blob is up on the 12th floor again, wreaking havoc. I demand a refund right now. Sir, if you check the fine print on our invoice... Invoices. Right, invoices. You'll see that your warranty on rehaunting expired some time ago. You could have taken the extended service of rehaunting. All right. I'm getting some interesting PKE spikes here. Disturbances don't seem to be exclusive to the 12th floor. I'd like the chance to look around the building a little more. Good. Dig up what you can. That little greenie shouldn't cause us too much trouble. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, Miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, loser. Never gonna happen. <laughs> that approach rarely works with me. I'll show you why later. All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance, if you do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. Part of our settlement with the city. Proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And in close quarters. It minimizes the city's liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. Where we live in today, you shoot a proton stream of highly charged particles at someone, they get all so happy. It's him! Nice. Now we got another plaintiff. Nice shot, Tex. Oh, come on, Ray. I'm the one that gets a face full of slime every time the little green buddy escapes. He doesn't even know me well enough to hate me. Watch it! Contact! Ah, oh, yo! Oh. Jeez! That's what your proton stream is for. Got him on the run! Come on, let's go! Peter! Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun, though. I'll cover the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. Yeah, okay. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. Your meter will flash and buzz when it detects a potential signal. The paragoggles are linked directly to your active PKE meter. This lets you see otherwise undetectable phenomena while you track it. Ghost trails, object auras, all kinds of cool events. Now when the center bar peaks, you're headed in the right direction. When it's flat, you're following a cold trail. Line the target up with the smallest circle for the best scan. Okay, you got it. Now just take a scan. Way to go!
Red signifies a hidden ghost. Green indicates an environmental paranormal anomaly. Blue means an active sample. Getting warmer. Warmer. Careful. Getting a good scan is sort of like taking a good snapshot. When you've got an FD in range, hold the scan button. This will analyze the ghost's PKE signatures and cross-reference them with your online Tobin Spirit Guide. Careful. Definitely been here. An active sample is something you can collect, like a cursed artifact. We get paid extra for everything we scan and collect. Then we roll it back into research and development. The extra funds let us experiment with new equipment and offensive technologies, which in turn you get to wear on your back to. Remember, you can always review techniques, tutorials, and equipment in your online Ghostbusters field manual. It's all accessible from your PKE meter. Great! I don't feel good! Peter, come in. You okay? Uh-oh, man down. We've got a man down. Go, go, go! So they had internet in 1991? Well, they, they have it, but I don't think... Uh... It was on, publicly available. You can move faster than that, can't you? Double time, kid. We have modems. Yeah, I know they had the uh, telnets and all this old uh, kind of like um, message boards. He's been slimed again. Hustle over here and help him up, will you? How did this even happen? I was covering the elevators. The mutants trumbly snuck up on me. <sighs> The fire again. When one of us goes down, we always help each other out. It's all about teamwork. Oh no, my friend. That was back in the pre slamming era. Right now, it's all about payback. You guys need to get down here immediately. Our live in science experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. More ghosts? But we gave this hotel a clean bill of health five years ago. New people die every day. Call the elevator, Junior. Slimer, you've had your fun. The elevator's off limits. Egon, come in. I think we're stuck in the elevator. We need some help. Think we're stuck. Well, let's see. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Ray, you guys uh, good with officially stuck in the elevators? Show of hands. Here it comes. Kill it, Ray! Need a hand? You always fail me, Ray, don't you? <gasps> oh, damn! Come on, he's a New York fellow. Just hit him. Oh. 
got one, another one to go. Take it apart. You hit me. To the right. Watch it stream for crossing. Got a loop around him. Hey, watch it. Nice. Shockwave really stirred the nest. Man, this lobby is so wrecked. Can we please call Winston and tell him his night off is officially ended? <laughs> More of them! Floating back upstairs. Bankman, you two pull our friend Slimer into a trap as fast as you can. There's a massive bulge in these spikes indicating this isn't just some routine clearing job. He gets so bossy when he has a new guest map. Peter, where are you? Honey glazed ham and prime rib. There, the Alhambra ballroom. No way he could pass that. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez bar mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I, I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Sounds like the Alhambra's off limits. Oh, the my schnitz, you say. Nobody slimes Pete Beckman twice and gets away with it. Be careful, Peter. Remember the Ellis Island incident? You bring your apron? We're going to take a little shortcut through the kitchen. The Alhambra should be right through here. Hello, chef. OK, champion, you leave. Don't touch the slime. It's slimy and it's extremely Tough story. Yeah, I think I'd be used to that stuff by now. Man, the story is sick. Oh.
Pop is sarcastic. Okay, oh, let's say ghost from. I right, check this out. To trap them, you've got to grab them, and to grab them, you use the other half of the proton on the capture strip. To it, you just throw this junk anywhere. We don't spit them out. You know, I thought that guy said Rodriguez Armesa. <laughs> Would it kill him to mix in a green salad once in a while? I'm gonna take back him. Blast him until he's gay and then throw the capture. Oh, yeah, no, try to hold him still. 
still. You gotta wear him down. When he's tired, he'll be able to put his sorry crater of a butt into the truck. That's a big wow. I'll teach that pitiful goop sack to slime P. Vengman. And by extension, you. Perhaps a place sitting disturbed? Still pretty much ready. Full go for the Rodriguez blowout. The Alhambra Ballroom. The Bar Mitzvah. What have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes. What seems to be your problem? Thanks to me, and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, huh? And, uh, to the Rodriguez, Hola Chaim, from the Ghostbusters. Oh, my lovely hotel. Nice of you guys to join us. You grab the little spud? Ray, we need to have a heart to blob talk with this one. We are in a disposition for the team. Uh oh. Heads up, your initiation is over. Now give us a hand. We've got a couple of really persistent troubles from spirits here. is going to pay for all of this. No need to worry, sir. As you know, the mayor rode to office on a strictly pro-Ghostbusters platform. And we now invoice the city directly for all captures and eliminations. And unhaunted New York is a tourist-friendly New York. No, but damage. The mayor and the city have taken out an extensive insurance policy as well, so you're covered. Honestly, I'm sensing some hostility here. Perhaps we should just leave the ghosts here, if that's what you would prefer, sir. No, no, but please be discreet. Discretion is our professional watch. Heads up. <laughs> Whoa, where did he come from? I suppose we should go after him, unless you want to discuss it first. Cadet, go with Dr. Spangler. Check out the angry fisherman.
This way. Looks like he's drifting upstairs. Cross there. Move. Take the lead. Take this trap.
Good work. Are you all right? Nice going. You might really be the right person for this job. Yes, you have destroyed a significant section of a five-star New York hotel in just under three hours. Your mother and I are so proud. Aren't we, Egon? He's got something. Let's track it down. Take a scan, would you? Knives and forks become a big angry giant. That's really me not liking it. A lot. Happens every day, right? Anybody here from Zetamore? Uh, guys, I'm right outside. And so is something else. Gosh, we've missed you, partner. Glad you could make it. But first, how was Aida? Well, we had to make do with uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's big. It's clean and soft and white. And you all aren't gonna like it. No, this is not possible. Not here, not now. Not again! I swear it. 
Pull it together, Ray. What do we have that can stop that cheap infection? Ray, weren't you gonna finish up the install of the Super Slammer today? The Super Slammer? It sounds untested. Tacky and exciting. I'm in. But will it work? Against the minions of a god? That was never the intent. But in theory, I suppose it could. But a muon trap of this capacity has never been used or even tried before. And why would that stop guys that don't know anything? Yeah, man. What are we? The FDA? We'll have to clear a path through this mess first. Get moving! This residue is animating! Morton, help us! Daycock is somehow hatching these mini minions from himself. Well, there's parallel physiology for you. Some little yarpers. Yep, they look so darn tasty. Blast them! Hey, more trouble! in the afterlife, guys? Uh, Ray, can you stop the car for me? No, not if we're gonna catch up to our old friend. hearing wings? Ghosts 
and gargoyles. Hey, that was a game. Ghosts and gargoyles. The game we played when I was in the cemetery. Ghosts and gargoyles. What dink game didn't you play? Do you have your eight-sided dice with you? Oh. 